But we begin with the forecast cone, which most of you are probably familiar with, and how it's getting a new look this hurricane season. The new look on the right will give a better sense of inland wind impacts. I spoke with the deputy director of the National Hurricane Center, Jamie Rome, about the change. Jamie, my first reaction when I saw this new cone is that there's less emphasis on the cone itself. So tell me, what are some of the key differences you guys made and uh, what do you hope to accomplish with some of these changes and why did you make them? Yeah, the biggest difference, and you can see it visually behind me here, is the addition of inland wind watches and warnings. Now, we've always shown or displayed the coastal wind watches and warnings, but now we're adding the inland watches and warnings and you can see uh, just how visually that that sort of pops and it also demonstrates another key change in this experimentation is is as the the center moves over land the cone kind of disappears behind the watches and warnings or the watches and warnings are layered on top of the cone to make them more visually prominent to the user and of course, when it comes to tropical systems, there's a lot of information that we need to get across to the public about some of the hazards. So, uh, you know, if you put too much data on a graphic, it kind of gets sort of confusing. So what kind of research or planning went into developing this new version to make sure, make sure people understand it as clearly as possible? Yeah, this has been the proverbial debate in hurricane communication since I've been here, which is now 25 years, is, you know, simplicity versus uh, over communicating or confusing people and you see it play out and not just the cone you see it play out in the Saffir Simpson scale itself where you know, some people argue um, that you should put more information in the Saffir Simpson scale or have a, a Saffir Simpson scale that sort of encompasses all hazards um, but for the purposes of the cone um, you know, it's always been powerful because of its simplicity mm -hmm. the problem with that is sometimes people uh, walk away with a misunderstanding of their risk because the cone doesn't tell you everything. And so basically what people want is a single graphic or a single scale that tells them everything they need to know, which is virtually impossible. <laughs> so we worked with social scientists over the last five, six, seven years to try to uh, sort of work through this debate. And what they recommended was what you see before you hear a subtle change in experimentation period. So this is an experimentation period where we would gather feedback from users and then use that to make changes. So I was going to get to that too, with this being experimental, does that mean the door is open for this cone to change or evolve even more in the future? Absolutely. I mean, I would consider this more of a discussion than a new operational product. Okay. This is an experimentation, but we need to give people something to uh, react to. We need to give something people to comment on, and that's what we're opening the door with this experimental process. Okay, Jamie Rome, Dire uh, Deputy Director with the National Hurricane Center. We appreciate your time today. Thank you. Thank you.